Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we have a C band update for Windows 10. So these are the optional quality updates as they call them. So as you see here, it's optional. All you have to do if you want to have it is to download and install. Uh, they are, of course, bug fixes for Windows 10 and we were waiting for them. They were releasing the release preview last week, so we were hoping this week they would be here. Uh, if you're on Windows 11, you had the C-band updates last week. Now the uh, updates are available for Windows 10 this week uh, for version 21H2, 21H1 uh, supported versions, a few op optional um, update versions for those that are on long-term support for older versions, but mostly for the two active Windows 10 versions. Now you don't have to install them if you don't have any issues. But if you do have problems, if you do have something that's not right, uh, it's a pretty long list of bug fixes in there, and including apparently a new printing feature. So I'm going to check that out and come back with a video with this uh, a little later today. But uh, this is now available. It was released yesterday, June the 28th, late in the day. And of course, like I said, you don't have to install it if you don't want to. I will install it, of course, and check it out. Remember that if you don't install them, what happens is that they are going to be installed with the Patch Tuesday updates. So the next Patch Tuesday in July will install this at the same time if you don't install it. So that also makes Patch Tuesday updates longer. So uh, if you don't install it and you find the Patch Tuesday updates a little longer than usual, it's sometimes because this update is going to install also at the same time makes more updates basically in the same phase. So check it out if you have issues. If you don't, you can just ignore it for now. And uh, it's available KB5014666, uh, released for 21H1, 21H2, the two supported Windows 10 versions. And they are now uh, there. Also, <clears throat> a reminder that this version, this new C-band update, actually has code that talks about 22H2. So um, that means that you can actually activate 22H2 using some registry hack within this new version. So it gives you an idea that they are working on what's coming up 22H2, which probably won't have much of anything uh, to talk about as it's going to be a small cumulative update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.